after Hazy Fantasy, the thing I directly did, apart from doing the itinerant nightclub game, was I went into advertising. I did a lot of advertising. I did a Levi's commercial. I think Ultravox had just done one, and Pink Floyd had done one, and Jean Michael Jarre had done one. So they were quite yeah. cool people, and they were epic commercials. If you remember the Ultravox one, it was rivets, and they had this huge tin mine that was all blown up and it, it was really famous at the time and they all pitched for the next ones because they'd all done a few of them and I won the competition so that set me off in advertising the one I did was with Tony Scott and we did a marlin fishing thing and they it was quite an amazing piece of film it was sort of like Hemingway type story jumping off massive bridges and that. but it was great so I did that and then of course that led to many many other things so I used to do you know an advert a month the, the really good advertising agencies Bart Bogart Hegarty they had all these Audi Quattros and they all had their sort of buttoned up shirts without the ties and all that but I liked it because it's a different world I did another commercial for British Airways which was a worldwide commercial and it was a big money thing I put this bit of this Beastie Boys record in it. It was a white label I had. Didn't have any information. I didn't know who they were or what they were or anything. It was before Licence to Ill, so the year before, whatever, 84 maybe. And I just thought it was brilliant. It was before they were successful or anything. I just sampled a bit of it. It was like, yum, yum, yum. You know, it was like a comedy vocal thing. Space guy goes on, onto the moon. He goes to the basically like the Star Wars bar. Right, when that bit comes on, I've dropped in this piece of this doom, 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 you know. So the Beastie Boys heard it in New York in the cinema and sued British Airways. It was the first money they ever made out of the music. When I went to New York the year after that, they were like, hello, thank you, <laughs> you know. So we became friends and uh, I just liked it. I just really loved it. It was my favourite record and uh, sort of I helped them start their career, although I thought they were brilliant. 